Welcome to Encourage and Word of Brief, Daily Word of Encouragement from the Bible. My name is Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba. You know, yesterday in church, we talked about uh, the fact that Jesus came to bring light into the dark world, but that also includes the dark areas of our lives. We all have them. Those areas we don't like to expose to others. We don't want to talk about them. Sometimes they come from past hurts and experiences, but sometimes they're our present reality, our personality flaws, our hidden habits, our hidden attitudes, the hidden ways that we talk, that we don't really uh, let everybody know what we're really like. Christ came to shine into our darkness as well as the darkness of the world. That's not meant to be negative or self-depreciating or introspective. It's not meant to be, uh, you know, a downer on us. Uh, God knows all about our our dark areas. Uh, We are fooling ourselves to think that God does not see our hypocrisy, our double standards. We think that God is somehow not aware of how we act at church one way, and then we act in a different way at home or at school or at work or wherever we are. We think that God doesn't know about our pretend piety. We all have it. And we think that we can put on a mask of looking stronger and happier and capable on the outside when inside we're hurting and we're in despair and we're double-minded and we're weak. You know, we all know that an honest answer to the greeting, hey, how are you, is often not what people really want to know. They really don't want to know how we really are. So we give pretend answers. I'm good. I'm doing well. But inside, there's a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And we often mask the pain and the hurt. And we understand that we all do that. All of us do it. God knows. And he still accepts us as we are with our pain, with our hurt, with our flaws, with our frailties, with our weaknesses. God accepts us. The Bible says that's when we're weak that we really become strong. It's then God's strength becomes real in us when we acknowledge our weakness. You know, one of the great verses of the Bible is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, where we read this, For God, who said, Let the light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. For we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are weak. And we do have those aspects of our life that we're not proud of. We have to at least be honest about it. But when we're honest with ourselves and with others and quit trying to pretend that everything's all right, then Christ's light can shine out of our darkness. We're just jars of clay. Uh, We are weak. We have frailties. It's the light in us that brings glory to God. Wow, that is exciting. And we certainly aren't perfect, but we do have the light of Christ shining out of us. And that's a very good thing. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much that you accept us as we are with all our weaknesses and all our frailties and all our failings. And God, you are in us and you're working in us and you're changing us. But right now, your light shines out through our darkness through the dark areas of our lives. And so, Father, I thank you for that. Uh, We have to be honest with ourselves. Father, we need your light, and we need you to shine into our darkness, expose those areas of our lives where we know we're not perfect, but Christ can shine through. And so, Father, I thank you for your people today. I thank you that you accept each one of us as we are, with grace and love and with uh, you give us peace in our hearts. So I pray that for your people today, this Christmas season. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, thanks so much for taking time to watch. God willing, I'll be back tomorrow with another word of encouragement. Have a great day. God bless.